In today's video, we're going to be talking about buses and how they work. So a bus in mixing, as you can see here, is a signal path that allows multiple audio tracks to be routed to a single channel for simultaneous processing. So what that is basically saying is that on a bus, you could put a reverb, a delay, and all the other tracks where you have vocals or whatever, you could run a whole bunch of them through that one bus. And the reverb will be affecting those channels. For example, right here in this vocal, let's solo it out, right? And we're going to create a new one, right? So let's say we want to put some reverb on here. What do we got on this? Here, let's take all this off. Here, let's. Oh, by the way, on Logic now, you could hit Command when you're near the plugins, and you could just delete them. You could delete everything right there. So watch. We're going to go here, bus one or bus two. We're going to add a reverb. Um, let's just do this on the space designer. Boom. Watch. And now we're going to press play. Trying to fake it because I've already made it. I created it. And that's this reverb right here, right? That's one way we could do it. We can also add another bus. Boom. Let's say this one we have delay. Hit him with the delay. And boom, you have the delay. So basically, you're just going to add the bus right here on whatever channel it is that you are doing this on. And then you turn it up from right there. We already explained in the last video how to group things. So let's say, for example, we just flatten the stack right here. We have all the vocals, right? These are all the vocals. So if you want to get them together in one group or one bus, you're just going to go here. Shift. You're going to click and select them all and then command shift D. It's going to ask you if you want to make a summing track and in that case, yes, you're going to create. Now all your vocals are in one bus, in one group. It's a lot more organized. You could see that's how I have this session right here, all the different buses, right? And there's a lot of things you could do with auxes too. Like if you go here just for this vocal, like I said, we have reverb right here. Oh, oh, oh. You can add a bunch of stuff here. You could do compression. You can do parallel compression. You can do DSing here. Even if you get an EQ and then you go to a certain frequency, you turn this area up right here, it will act as a DSer as well. There's just so many ways that you could use this. Another way to create a multi-track mix like this more organized is to create a mix bus. So in this case, let's say you want to make a mix bus, right? So you're going to select all of these. You're going to select all of your buses, all of your instruments, whatever it is that you have mixed, right? And you're just going to go on output and you could start a new bus. Boom. You can name this one right here. Mix bus. And now that is your mix bus. So that means all of these buses, in fact, that means all of these buses or all of these instruments right here, they're now going to be going through the mix bus. Whatever processing you do here, all of these are going to be going through this mix bus. And then from here, it's going to be going to the stereo out. But that's just how that works. So if you want to tighten up your mix with some glue compression, if you want to EQ your mix as a whole, you know, add whatever you want to do, some saturation, you can do all of that right here in this mix bus. So basically, it's organizing everything, mixing whatever you want here, the vocals, um, some drums, like the snare, the kick, whatever. And then to make it easier, you can mix through the buses. So instead of mixing every single track by itself, because right here in this one, it's a 52 track mix. I'm not going to be over here mixing 52 tracks, right? You're going to make it simpler on yourself. You're going to go here, vocal bus. This is the bus. Boom. We can add all of our processing right here, do whatever we got to do and move on to the next one. Once we're done with that, we feel everything sounds good. Then move on to the mix bus right here and tighten up the mix as a whole. And that is going to get that cohesive sound that you're looking for. And everything will sound good at the end. But yeah, guys, buses are basically a way to make everything easier. Instead of going on each vocal track and 
reverb and then let's say you do the background vocals you put another reverb on that track like it's a lot easier to just have one reverb that you like and just add the bus right here on sends boom let's say it's three right that's a delay you can add it there and then boom let's say you want the same delay on something else you go here boom now it's right there you got the same delay and all you have to do is turn it up right here or what you can do is you could turn this one up all the way and you could see that this is bus three and you could turn it down here and then you can slowly bring this in and blend it. That's another way you could do it. So it's very simple, very effective. I think everybody should use this. It's kind of confusing at first to understand, but hopefully this video made it a little bit simpler. That is pretty much it. If there's anything that you guys think I might have missed or left out, let me know and I'll get back to you. But besides that, guys, that is it. That is how you use buses. That is how you use the sands down here to add effects to your channel, to your vocals, to your drums, to whatever it is you want to add effects to. Very simple. The mix bus right here. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're growing little by little. If you guys want me to make a video on something else, let me know what it is down below in the comments. But with that being said, I love you guys. Have a good one. Kid forever. Out.